Welcome to Diamond Skin's beauty podcast. We're here to give you relatable information from real life people, influencers from of beauty procedures, whether it's anti-wrinkle injections, derma fillers, or simply just a facial. So thank you so much for tuning in. So I'd like to introduce you guys to Smaranda. She is a beauty and lifestyle influencer. Smaranda, welcome to our podcast. Thank you for having me today. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. You look amazing. You too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> So tell us a little bit more about who you are and about what you do. So my name is Marana. I'm almost 26 years old. Uh, I came to London when I was 17 to study. Um, I studied politics and international relations. Then I managed to open my own beauty business because I've always had a passion for beauty. Uh, and then I wanted to just upscale everything. And that's why I, I enrolled on a marketing MBA. Amazing. Yeah, wow. and uh, I also had a passion for social media always, so I did a content creator course as well. Okay. So now my main area of focus is content creation and just um, upscaling my marketing skills and also the beauty thing. Perfect. I think when we spoke off camera, you mentioned that you love organic products. Could you tell yes. us a little bit more about that and why? So, because uh, uh, I always had like um, these hormonal imbalances. Okay. Since I came to London, actually. Uh, really? So yeah. Your hormonal imbalance started in London. Yeah, really. I think it's because of the stress and the environment, really. And okay. back in Romania, I find everything organic and um, not so processed. Yeah. So I really had to. It had to become um, a, a religion in my life, like be, living um, holistically. Okay. And. Um, um, I try my best to eat as healthy as I can and like train every day. Training is my therapy. And um, you said skin. Yes, yeah, skin. Sorry. Yeah. Organic. No, but training is important, honestly. Yeah. So when it comes to organic, is it not just your products that you use? It's, it's... the most, the most that it matters is what you put internally in your body. Yeah. Like the food you eat. I, I mean, you can use the best products in the world, but if you don't take off what you eat, what you drink, it won't matter. So True. in terms of products, I use like organic products because I know less is more. So True. I keep it like really minimal. Oh, okay. That's amazing. Yeah. And then you train how often? Almost like every day I try my best until I have like a day break. But it's really my therapy. It's more than looking good. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like training is so important. The thing about training, it not only helps your health, your skin, but your mental health as well. Exactly. Yeah. So. Mental health is a really important subject in my life. So. Oh, really? Why is that so important? Uh, I struggled with anxiety in the past. Sometimes okay. I still have it, but I managed to figure everything out on my own. Nothing like in terms of medicine or therapist helped me. I just figure out everything on my own, like through self-development. Oh, amazing. Yeah. So is that why you do the whole training organic yeah that all helps to do that all helps help. that, that, like, all good hobbies are related yeah that's yeah. true so that's it's a lifestyle as i said that's true that's so inspirational i'm sure there's so many of our listeners that's probably suffering with anxiety or depression or all sorts of different types of mental health issues so speaking to you and knowing that you've overcome it and you're doing things not medicine you're literally <laughs> just having a healthy lifestyle eating good yeah and fitness yeah and that's all helping it's all helping also i do a lot of meditation a lot of meditation as journaling well. yeah it's really important to be super aware of all of these things and what triggers you and the causes you need to heal but healing is a long life process that's true that's yeah true. So, but you just have to be aware and try to become better every day that's true so if you was to give one advice to our listeners what would you say one thing you should change in your life just so you can have feel better it's mindset mindset yeah. always work on your mindset always so that's where it all comes from like personality creates personal reality yeah that's true so that's all i have to say <laughs> to be honest. so your mindset is so important and mindset is everything so when it comes to beauty um treatments mm -hmm. what sort of beauty treatments do would you say yes to or stir more away from so I did my, I'm not going to lie, I did my lips in the past. Okay. I always liked the enhanced look, but I never actually did my face or something. Okay. And the doctor recommended me that I should do the nasal label today okay. because I have a little bit of saggy skin here, like a mm, 
So if you, so it's always room for upgrading. <laughs> yeah. So why, how can I say no to that? Yeah, that's true. So one of the things that I would recommend our viewers to consider when you ever consider any sort of aesthetic procedure, who is your injector? So today, Samaranda's seen our doctor, our doctor Rola. She has got 17 years experience working in dermatology alone. She worked in Kuwait. She graduated her MBA or is it medical degree, <laughs> medical degree in the UK. But she's been trading in Kuwait for 17 years and then she's moved to the UK and now she's doing all her procedures, not just in our Harley Street branch where we're filming now, but she has different branches across the UK which she does her treatments in. When you go to someone to do your treatments, have you ever considered who I'm going to? Do you go with the injector that's got the most amount of followers or do you care about their credentials? No, I always like look for reviews. Like so, um, going to do something on your body, on your face, you, you it's no joke. Yes, thing. it's not a joke. Yeah, so I always do my research first. Okay, that's perfect. That's mm. good. That's good to know. Of course. <laughs> so, I would never leave my face under the hands of someone that's not experienced or not experienced yeah. yeah so one thing i would like our viewers to understand is you can get your injections done by a cosmetic injector but the benefits of going to a doctor they understand your anatomy so going to a doctor she understands your anatomy she knows where your veins are where an artery exactly. is and she'll make sure she doesn't do a treatment which can cause any sort of complications which is very common in the uk some people go to cosmetic injectors and they get treatments done then they end up with fibrosis this is when you get the the filler goes into a vein or yeah, yeah or an artery and then you literally have to do um a whole medical surgery to remove the filler that's gone in the wrong area can be really dangerous yeah can be very dangerous so going to a doctor has so much benefits and that's why we're here today. I'm glad you've come to us today, Miranda. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> it's no problem. Um, so the doctor's recommended here. Yeah. Why dermafillers? Have you so you done lips before? Why yeah. dermafillers? Um, because it's non-invasive. Yeah. And um, I wouldn't do like something really permanent, to be honest. Okay. Yes. Yes. True. So that's a good thing about fillers. Let's say you did a treatment today and you wasn't happy with the way the fillers were. Exactly, you could just get rid of it. Yeah, you can dissolve them. Exactly. Hi, Saranda. So, Saranda, have you ever considered fillers, like, every, anywhere on the face or, like, bum or hip fillers? Not really. Um, I think it's the first time I'm doing my fillers uh, on the face. Okay. But um, regarding, like, the body... I work on in the gym for that, so <laughs> there's no need for fillers. So. On the bum, yeah, it's true. But right now, there's like a massive craze for people doing fillers on the bum. It looks really good, but ladies, I would say if you can do it in the gym, do it in the gym because the results are amazing. Exactly. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, but I'm glad you, your lifestyle influencer. So I'm sure you go to the gym so often and you, yeah. you've got a really great shape. Thank you so much. So the doctor's recommended you doing fillers on the face, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, so I would like to say people, like when it comes to fillers, you can get fillers at any stage of your life. I would recommend doing fillers from age 25 and above because that sort of age is when you stop producing as much collagen. So you could do light amount of fillers from the age 25 and above. Most people tend to do their lips, which looks fantastic. Um, and some people start doing fillers on their cheeks, eyes, under they sleep their eyes the cheeks is really nice and for contouring it looks amazing um so Samanda today is gonna is had a consultation with Dr Rola I'm gonna introduce Dr Rola to you guys shortly I'd like to introduce you guys to Dr Rola she has 18 years experience in aesthetic medicine she did her master's in dermatology in the United Kingdom and I'd like to introduce her onto the show today Welcome, Dr. Rilla. Hi, how are you? So yeah. you had a consultation with our beauty Samara mm -hmm. earlier today, and she said that you recommended a treatment for her. Could you yeah. explain to the camera what you recommended? Yeah. And why? Um, yeah, we had a brief consultation, and I recommended her to do a bit of nasolabial fillers here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why? Because she has a bit of a tear trough area, which is uh, volume loss in, in, the, in the cheeks, uh, especially under the eye and a, a deep uh, wrinkle here. Okay. okay. So instead of doing any jawline treatments, if we did the nasolabial fold and lifted the, the cheeks up a bit, she would have a much nicer look. 
as well as adding a bit of volume to the chin area. So it will give the face more rejuvenation and youthful look, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Have you ever had any medical procedures before? No. I had lip fillers. Yeah. Um, any other yeah. medical? Mm, medical, no. Yeah. No. no. Just no. Okay. No. That's fair. Mm -hmm. um, would anything else? Would you recommend her to have any anti wrinkle injections or just? Uh... Mm, no, I think this would be perfect to her face. Yeah. I would like the face to look more feminine, more uh, rejuvenated without any um, extra volume anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So permanent solution. We we know that derma fillers is not a permanent solution. Would you recommend any other alternative permanent solutions for her? Is there a permanent solution? Because I'm sure we love derma fillers, but going to get derma fillers every so often can become quite, you know. No, there is no permanent solutions. Yeah. Okay. Even surgery is not permanent. Okay. So, and uh, doing filler every now and then, every year or so, with hyaluronic acid, for example, it's a very hyaluronic acid is a natural component of the skin. Okay. So it's something natural you are adding every now and then to maintain your youthful look. So I don't think it's something it will help in repairing and support the skin layers. So it's something good to maintain every now and then. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Did you know that, Samara? Yeah, I know. Oh. I kind of know that because I also worked in a beauty clinic before, had a collaboration. Mm. So I was doing like my makeup and lashes thing. And that's how I uh, um, get to know more about the um, procedures. And, yeah. What about, aside from dermophilus, is there anything that she can do at home to help assist her skin? which you know works, that uh, will make the dermophilus maybe last longer, improve her? Like um, healthy lifestyle, drink lots of water, using her sunscreen uh, before going out outdoors, um, that's all. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So any products that you'd say that she needs to use? No, um, like maybe the sunscreen, a moisturizer. And that's it. Not any hyaluronic acids or vitamin D? Uh, maybe hyaluronic acid every now and then, the serum especially. But um, vitamin C is for like a temporary rejuvenation. It may be, but for me, the sunscreen is important and mo the moisturizer is very important. Yeah. Okay. So these are the, the two most important things. Maybe not in her age, like after 30s, maybe hyaluronic acid serum and vitamin C will be a must for the patients. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. What about retinol? Uh, not everyone we recommend retinol too. We should mm -hmm. give like, um, like prescription and advices when to use it, how to use it, what, what layer of retinol should be applied, when exactly to apply it, any irritation to the skin after that. So it's a kind of... Uh, a doctor consultation and then we can start or we cannot start retinol according to the skin concern and the case itself mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. thank you for that do okay. you have any questions before doctor starts for procedure uh, what kind of filler are we going to use uh, we have different types of mm -hmm. fillers we can and the, all of them are hyaluronic acid fillers mm -hmm. which I prefer yeah, I don't prefer using the polylactic acid and the radius ones. What's the difference? Because we can. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Uh, now, polylactic acid and uh, and uh, and the radius, which is calcium, they are not hyaluronic acid fillers. You cannot dissolve them, so the patient should know that they last longer. But you cannot dissolve if you didn't like the filler. Oh, so yeah. that's more of a permanent, well, longer lasting Longer solution. lasting fillers, yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. Yeah. A polylactic. So yeah, it, it doesn't mean it's not a good filler, it's up approved, but if the patient didn't like it, they should know that they cannot dissolve it. When you say approved, um, let our listeners know what you mean by approved. Like FDA approved medicines, yes. Okay. Yeah. How Had would many we... trials, many studies like for a long period of time saying that this product is safe okay yeah how would we know if a product is fda approved i think from the box itself from the studies from the reviews you can google search any product and you can know and you can ask your doctor as well okay. if this product is approved if this laser is approved or not yeah okay. it's more safer it means it's more safer product okay yeah? that's fine mm -hmm. so polylactic acids polylactic derma fillers you're yeah. saying 
last longer. Last longer, yeah. So in, in comparison, if I had a typical hyaluronic acid dermophila, how long would that last as opposed to a polylactic dermophila? Now, according to the, the hyaluronic acid itself, is it cross-linked? Is it non-cross-linked hyaluronic acid? So some of them last like three months, some six months, some one year. It's according to the cross-linking of the hyaluronic acid itself, yeah? Okay. So mostly eight to 12 months, let us say, the hyaluronic acid. Okay. Yeah. And again, it's according to the patient lifestyle. If the patient is smoker, is alcoholic, is doing too much hydrofacials and steams, so it will degrade quickly. It will go on, it will be absorbed quickly. So the patient will need to do it every now and then. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. And so um, that's the polylactic acid, or is that the hyaluronic one? The hyaluronic acid. Okay. So what makes the so what's in the polylactic acid to make it last longer? Is it not crossing? It no. It's not hyaluronic acid at all. Okay. It's a different ingredient, which is more stiff, more firm, and lasts longer. Okay. That's it. How much yeah. longer would it last compared? Maybe four to five years, and maybe sometimes longer. Oh wow! Oh. So that's oh. more of a permanent solution. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But oh wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So I'm getting mad chin done. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if you want so if you're if you trust your position and you mm. don't want it to be dissolved, yeah. doing a polylactic yeah. filler uh. would be longer lasting so I don't have to top it up every twelve months or six months per se. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. interesting yeah. to know. I'm yeah. sure the listeners will quite like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, but you're doing a hyaluronic acid filler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that a product that you prefer to use as opposed to polylactics or it doesn't really matter? Uh, no, I prefer Juvederm. I like Juvederm as okay. well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Prestaline, Juvederm, these are the products I prefer, yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Any other questions you have for the procedure? How long does it last? Like around 6 to 12 months. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Any risks? To you will be have maybe you will have some swelling. blue spots, some swelling, which okay. is bruises, a bit of swelling, one or two days. That's uh, fine. Yeah, and that's <laughs> it. And after one week, you will see the result more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not instantly. Instantly, you will see a bit, but after one week, it will show more. After one month, it will show much more. Perfect. That's it. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Will drinking <laughs> water make the results last yeah, longer? Yeah, 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 because hyaluronic acid is a hydrophilic component, which means it's attracted to water. So whenever we drink lots of water, the hyaluronic acid particles will, will spread easier. Okay. Yeah? So Ooh, okay. Yeah, drinking lots of water is a must, oh, if you would like the good. product to settle for a long time and give you a good uh, distribution. Oh, yeah. perfect. Also, um, myself, I do gua sha massage every like morning and yeah. uh, night time yeah, huh? am i allowed to do that no for the no. first week no any massage okay no oh, massage yeah, yeah. then after that i can yeah after that continue. you can massage yeah when settle down you can do perfect okay cross-linked sorry you mentioned this word cross-linked yeah. and i'm sure a lot of listeners don't understand the terminology cross-linked could you explain to them what you mean <laughs> yeah. oh it's a medical term which means that um the hyaluronic acid to last longer, it's cross-linked with the certain product ingredient, yeah? So it's like something to, uh, um, to make the product more firm, more stiff and lasting longer. So if we would like uh, the product to last longer, we should check on the box of the filler. Is it cross-linked or non-cross-linked? I'm sure you can check this on any yeah. filler. So if it is non-cross-linked, it means it's for mainly rejuvenation and it's softer and it will not last long. Yeah, so it's not for filling. If it is cross-linked, yeah, so it means it's more firmer, it will support the skin layers more and it will last longer. Ah, oh, amazing. Yeah. So, for example, Profilo. Profilo yeah. is not cross-linked yeah. because it's a skin booster and it's a hyaluronic acid? No, Profilo is a different component. It has two uh, concentrations of hyaluronic acid, okay. which is now uh, the new to the market, these things. like they are. Uh, it's called three-dimension uh, technique, okay. which has cross-link and non-cross-link inside. Ah, okay. So everyone will work on certain layer of the skin. One will work deep, one will work superficial to help the... Uh, the lifting and rejuvenation at the same time too. So this is the new to the market nowadays. Okay, Yeah, that's fine. But mm -hmm. the, the treatment we're doing today 
is cross-linked. Yeah, yeah. Fillers. fillers. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So we'll let you start your procedure and then you can come back on and let us know how it goes. Great. Miranda, so yes. you had the treatment Dr. Rola recommended. How did it feel? It went really well. As you can see, my face is in perfect harmony right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the doctor, as I can see, she's very experienced. Her hand was really light and it was not that painful. Oh, perfect. So uh, I will be back for sure. Oh, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> thank um, you. Remember what the doctor said, to yeah. drink loads of water, mm -hmm. um, sunscreen. I've got your aftercare information. Thank um, you so much. No problem. So just remember to drink loads of water, uh, don't touch the, the area, and follow the aftercare information to the tea. Thank I you will. so much. Thank oh, you for having me. Not a it was a pleasure. <laughs> it was a pleasure too. Take care. Bye-bye.